Hey YouTube, hey 1135 here. Uh, I want to get a little talk here. This is going to be in particular for TLC Bear. A uh, question he had the other day. He had a, a 5.3 that he is in the process of rebuilding, and he accidentally put the heads on and clamped the head bolts down without installing the lifters first, which meant he had to take it all back apart and remove the bolts and the head gaskets. And he was upset because got to get new head gaskets now. I get new head bolts. The head gasket he might be okay on. Um, according to Feltro and their website, they say you can do that, but the head bolts can't be reused. Now, a lot of people I hear, especially older mechanics like me, who've been around, well, I've been around since the 80s and 90s, but older ones who go back to the 50s, 60s, 70s, along there, you know, they're thinking, well, I had a 350, we tore it apart, we cleaned the bolts, put it back in, everything's fine. Well, that's the problem. Big issue there is between those engines and the engines we have now is the aluminum heads and a particular type of gasket that they have now called a MLS gasket. MLS stands for multi layer steel gasket. If you look at this gasket, I know it's kind of hard to see, but this is made of several different layers of steel sandwiched together. And it doesn't, with it being made that way, a conventional head gasket like for a 350 or 302 Ford, uh, they're designed crush when you tighten them down. These gaskets are designed not to crush when you tighten them. So if the head gasket doesn't crush, the aluminum engine, aluminum being the way it is on a cast iron block, you have two different metals. So you have aluminum and you have cast iron. When they heat up, they expand at different rates. The aluminum will expand more and faster than this cast iron will. Uh, and what happens there, if you have the aluminum expand and the head bolts, if they stretch with the head, but then they don't go back, then your head bolts are loose, you blow a head gasket, you've got a blow gasket. These torque to yield head bolts, the way they're, a normal head bolt, when you tighten it down to a torque spec, it is designed to stretch a little bit, not very much, because it has a very limited uh, elastic limit limit which is how far it can stretch. Um, torque to yield bolts they are designed that when you torque them down that they will stretch and then they will go back after you release the torque off them. The way this works in is when the engine gets hot the aluminum head will expand the head bolts will expand with the aluminum to let that head raise up a little bit and then when the engine cools down the head bolts will expand will contract back down keeping the head tight. Um, the thing is these bolts they're designed they are designed to stretch and when you have a brand new bolt and you install it and you tight torque it down you stretch that bolt which is say if it's like this long and you torque it and it'll stretch to here and it'll come back a little bit but it doesn't go back all the way it did when it was new the issue we run to is some guys they think well you know the bolts they look good I don't see anything wrong with them I see this one here this one in my motor I'm just using it to hold the head on I had the motor right here uh, well, I get the picture kind of almost put back together. I'm just using the head bolt to hold the head on because I ran into this question too. I mean, my bolt that I had, it's all cleaned up, the threads are all cleaned, all the creds removed off it, it looks good. But what I'm using these for right now is just to set the head in place to get it out of the way until I get new bolts because over my lifetime as a mechanic, I have several times run into. Uh, these motors, the 3.1s, and various other aluminum headed engines that have had broken head bolts. You know, they were overheating, uh, losing coolant. When the process of tearing it down, I find a broken head bolt. We're thinking, why did the head bolt break? Well, it could have just broke because the engine overheated so much that it reached its, its yield point and the bolt just snapped. That's probably what happened. More likely, is somewhere down the line, someone replaced the heads or did something to the head gasket. We used the head bolts. So you have this head bolt that was here. And then you stretch it to here, and it goes back to here. But then you take it off, and you reapply, reapply it, and you retorque it, and you put the torque angle on it. And then you take that bolt that was here, is now here, and now you're stretching it, stretching it to here, and it comes back. Well, more likely it's going to hold, but you're dangerously close uh, to that elastic limit of the bolt. And if your engine gets hot, if it's a hot day, and you're a little bit low on coolant, and you get that engine up over 210 degrees, that bolt's going to expand, and it's likely going to exceed the point, it's going to pop. 
and you're right back with leaking head gasket, you know, overheating. Head bolts for this engine, this 3.1, uh, I always I always use Felpro, Felpro gaskets, Felpro bolts, everything Felpro. Uh, you can get a set of head, uh, Felpro head bolts, 20 bucks. I mean, you figure your cost for gaskets and labor to tear this all back apart and redo this because you want to save $20. $20 isn't a bad expense. It's pretty cheap insurance. So that way you're guaranteed, or at least pretty well guaranteed, you won't have to redo this again. Now, if you don't do it correctly, uh, yeah, you're going to have problems. But if you properly clean the main surfaces, chase the threads out on the block, make sure the head is flat by checking with a flat edge and or having it checked by a machine shop, uh, using new head bolts and new gaskets, you should have your problem. It should go right together. Everything will be fine. Bob's your uncle. Uh, but that's the issue here with these head bolts is the way they are designed now is the way you can tell on the, with these bolts that there's the torque to yield knot is checking your specifications. If it asks to just torque it to a normal torque value, like in three steps, like say 30 foot pounds, 50 foot pounds, 75 foot pounds, and that's it, you're good. You've just got a regular steel bolt. You can reuse it, no problem. But if it tells you to say torque it to 30 foot pounds and then to go... 90 degrees or 51 degrees you've got a torque to yield bolt and you're better off reusing it so just might as well figure if you have an aluminum headed engine to replace the head bolts if you have in the specifications where it says to do degree the head bolts to a certain degree it's torque to yield better replace them it's just i said no more what they cost you know it's cheap insurance and it looks better you know my motor here I spent I spent some time uh, cleaning and detailing this engine, uh, not because I have to. Um, it, I mean, the car's going in. Isn't really nothing special. It just I want to do it for me, and also you know make it look nicer for me. And it's nicer to put together a clean engine than it is a greasy, grimy, dirty one. So, and like right on here when you when you put the head bolts, uh, like right here. It's going to look a lot better if they're nice and quiet, nice and shiny instead of all this dull feel. So that's uh, all I wanted to say here. Just a little quick video. And I'll try to get this to Rod Benton, no, the TLC bear, if I can. So this will be Dave Benton 35 signing out.